touchdown. Yay. Good morning. My name is Eki and in the Mortic community I am leading the team that is in charge of events, among other things. Therefore, it is my great honor and also pleasure to welcome you today to our first global Mordic conference to our Morticon. Now, this is not the main keynote. That one will be given by our project lead by Ruth later today when other parts of the world are awake too. However, I would like to give you an overview of the event and a bit of a spaceship manual too. This event is obviously not happening in Boston as we originally intended. You are watching this online, so luckily you all did notice the change of venue and I'm glad you made it. In spite of the circumstances that forced this change, it turns out to be actually a huge gain to the event because it tears down a lot of barriers which we didn't even know exist and enables hundreds of Mordic people literally around the world to join us today. I would like to welcome you all to this first truly global Mordicon. And in order to do that, let me forward to you a couple of messages from some of those places around the world. Bonjour et bienvenue au Moticon depuis la France. Hello Motic fans, I am from Switzerland and uh, I want that you can see who is beautiful. Fala pessoal, Léo Borlotti aqui direto do Brasil para te dar boas-vindas na Malticon. Hallo und willkommen zur Mauticon aus Deutschland. This was German. Benvenuti al Mauticon 2020 dall'Italia, Ravenna. Hallo, sehr willkommen für Mauticon von Urdon. Servus aus Österreich. Schön, dass du bei der Mauticon dabei bist. Salut, ich bin jetzt von Hitler Mauticon. Epicentro Community Mautic. Welcome to Mautic from the UK. Mautic 2020 here you go. Welcome by Mauticon from the Netherlands. Ain't that cool? Thanks to all our friends around the world who sent me those videos for you. And also a big thanks to everybody else who made this whole thing possible. To Ruth, who had to carry large, large parts of the work involved. She surely has some crazy weeks and specifically days behind her. And I really wish it's going to be calmer for, for her going forward. But also to all the other helpers like Avi and Katzan, like Megan, Nick and Nico, Roll and Vishal and about 15 others who all deserve a lot of credit. Also a shout out to all our sponsors who, by supporting this event, also support the entire Mordic community. That's our generous gold sponsors, Acquia, Facet Interactive and Leuchtfeuer Digital Marketing, as well as our silver sponsors, DropSolid, Higher Education Marketing and Acalono, and also a good number of community sponsors too. Thank you all very much, folks. And a special sum that goes out to Open Source Training, who organized yesterday's Mordicon Training Day, which is a fantastic offering by itself, but I have to say I appreciate their work in general anyway, so thank you so much for supporting Mordic Open Source Training. And of course, I want to say thank you to the over 50 speakers that make Mordicon what it is with a really attractive mix of topics. Moreover, I am really proud that we have a pretty good share of speakers coming from communities other than the mainstream ones. And also, the many talks in non-English languages such as Japanese, German or Portuguese. Also, if I counted right, we have eight female speakers today. Not a bad start, but in the future we want to do even better. The Mordic community is actively inviting women and all other underrepresented groups to step up, to get more visible and to be more active. And to help us learn how we can overcome any barriers that might keep you from doing that today. After all, we not only want to be a good home for the most relevant people today, but also for all the bright minds and coming Mordic enthusiasts 
out there in the future and of course for everybody else as well no matter what background they are coming from and in general i can only invite everybody to become a part of the mordic family today i promise you it's a very friendly and welcoming bunch of human beings the best way of getting started is by finding a spot that you're most comfortable with or most interested in be it part of the product like emails or user interface or tracking or whatever or be it a certain set of skills that you have like coding or documentation or testing or design or contributing ideas or agile coaching or marketing etc etc or of course by helping with events like this by the way my friends and fellow team leads are all happy to personally help you get started so don't be shy to contact them directly that's norman with the product team it's leon with the education team it's radu with the marketing team for law and finance it's ruth and then there's the community team that's me Aki. by the way you can find it all on contributemordic.org plus we have a virtual room right here at mordicon called contribution room and i recommend you do check it out today and maybe this is also a good moment to give a little bit of background once again for all those who are not perfectly familiar with the Mordic structures. As you probably know, the Mordic brand and other rights are owned by Acquia. However, to me, Mordic is a really community-driven open source project where we, the community, are in control and also in charge of the present and future of Mordic. Acquia is not interfering with that at all, given that we don't change the general nature of the product, uh, but is merely supporting us with some money when needed, but more importantly with developers, and of course by paying Ruth as a dedicated resource, or rather as a skillful and incredibly committed human being that we all love. Just in case you wonder, everything else here, including myself, is community contribution. None of us is receiving any money from Acquia. Some may even be considered competition. So thank you very much to Acquia for giving the freedom and support to Mordic. And while we're at it, here's a little tip. At 7 p.m. London time, Acquia mastermind Dries Butyard will talk about his journey in open source in track six. Again, that's 7 p.m. UK time, also currently known as UTC, which we decided to make our reference time zone for this global event. Now, getting back to being a part of that Mordic community. At this Mordicon, we are inviting you to additional new ways of making a difference in Mordic, which we think are very easy and low effort, but also very direct and rewarding. To learn more about this, but also for any other topics, questions or thoughts from you, I am inviting you to our Community Council panel discussion live at 4 p.m. London Time Zone UTC and of course to the main keynote directly thereafter. Another important part of the Mordic family are the local communities in many countries and regions around the world, which help people connect in their own language, in their own culture and in their own time zone. Those have been around for quite a while and have proven to have a lot of value and also a lot of potential left. Now that Morticon preparations are over, it is my priority to finally implement all the new ideas that we have about giving even more support, visibility, more structure and connection to those local communities. So to all of you who are already active in that area, please be patient just a little bit longer. It is going to be another leap forward that's worth the while. And speaking of Morticon preparations being over, I think it is now time to get rolling with all the sessions that lay ahead of us. Here's some practical advice for your day. First of all, please make sure to check the agenda for any late changes. That's the agenda on morticon.mordic.org slash agenda or in the app that you can get at morticon-2020.sessionize.com. You will see that we have six tracks in parallel, you can switch among those at any time, of course. In track six, we start with a fun little format called Lightning Talks, 
of five minutes each. So if you feel like starting with lightweight snacks, that might be a tip for you. At 5 p.m. UTC, London time, so directly after the panel discussion, we will have the main keynote by Ruth Cheesley, so don't miss that one once again. All other sessions are scheduled for 45 minutes, including time for your questions. Each session has a Q&A slide that will be shown in the track when the session is running. There is no chat in the session, but there's a global chat in the event. There's also a networking area where people can join a table and have a video call. I'm encouraging all speakers to go there after the session is over and be available for a chat if you like. Or you can of course join the sponsor booth if it's a sponsored talk. You will find that at the same time there can be multiple offerings which are interesting for you. Don't worry, we will publish recordings of everything. It may take some weeks, but things will be on YouTube eventually. We also encourage you to discuss among each other in the event-wide global chat or in the networking area. And of course, if you have any spare time, do check out our event sponsors and their offerings. They have virtual booths, which you can find under the tracks and sponsors section. And they may, may even have some unique Mordicon only specials for you. Which reminds me of our virtual gift bag. Did you already get your free Mordicon t-shirt? Oh, here is it. Cool, eh? Virtual conference, real t-shirt. If you did not yet get it, you can find the voucher in an email called Get Your Mordicon 2020 Limited Edition Swag Action Required. Uh, go to your email inbox, find it, and you can still use the voucher after the event. But wait, don't do that now. Instead, switch off your email, switch off your cell phones. I'm not kidding, really do it and you will have much more out of this conference. Instead, get yourself a lot of coffee, like this. Um, get a nice spot, lean back, relax and enjoy your first Morticon. Or as we like to say, let's boldly go where no Marketing automation has gone before. See you soon somewhere in the Mordic universe.